In this video, I'm going to be answering a question about water temperature. Uh, water temperature seems to be a very hot topic when it comes to actually finding a good feeding zone. But what I have found is that it's not really so much the water temperature itself. It's more of the fact of what is the water temperature doing? Is it increasing or is it decreasing? And that will definitely come into play to find an active feeding zone because just a slight increase or decrease in water temperature will get those fish more active. Now, fish do have an ideal temperature range that they are more comfortable in. I believe for redfish, it's anywhere from like 52 degrees up to 90 degrees or, or more, which they can tolerate. And for sea trout, I believe it's uh, 48 degrees and up to about 88 degrees. That's their uh, tolerable temperature range. And right in the middle of that is going to be their ideal temperature range. Now, if you're fishing in the summertime when it's really hot out, that's when you want to look for a slight decrease in water temperature. So if the water temps cool down, you're typically gonna find more active feeding fish. So some things that can affect that are uh, rainfall. If you get a nice rainstorm uh, in the summertime, that's definitely going to drop the water temperatures just slightly. Even a degree or two can make a huge difference and get those fish uh, actively feeding. Also, overcast conditions in the summertime can usually drop water temperatures a little bit. And current water flow. If you have an incoming tide, you're typically going to get some cooler ocean water coming into the flats and the bays and cooling that area off. So again, in the summertime or when it's hot out, you want to look for water temperatures that are falling because that's going to get those fish a little bit more active. Now in the winter time, it's just the opposite. You want to look for water temperatures that are going up. So that's why we like to tell you to look for wind protection, look for uh, dark muddy areas, look for uh, areas with a little bit of water flow, but not too much because too much water flow is actually gonna cool down an area. So you want to look for that slight increase in water temperature to find active or feeding fish. Also fishing later in the day, that is going to increase your odds of finding active fish because they're waiting for that sun to warm themselves up. Again, even a degree or two uh, change in temperature can be the difference between finding a dead zone and finding an active area. Now, one thing you don't want to happen is a sudden drastic increase or decrease in temperature because that will actually shock the fish. So when you do have a really strong cold front that comes through, those fish are going to move out. They're not going to be in their usual places. They're going to look for deeper areas that have a temperature change. Uh, typically, when the water temperature changes, it's, it's going to change from top to bottom. It's not going to change from bottom to top. So the surface temperature is going to decrease and then the uh, temperature of the water below that is going to be a bit warmer. That's why those uh, fish seek that warmer, deeper area in the wintertime. And when it comes to the summertime, the same thing can hold true. That surface temperature is what's going to change first. And that uh, water temperature that is deeper isn't going to change as drastically. So in the summertime, water temperatures don't really change as drastically or as quickly as they do in the wintertime. That's why you really want to look for those deeper pockets in the wintertime to find active fish. Also, we had a question about when is it just too cold to fish? In my opinion, it's never too cold to fish. You can definitely find those warmer areas. You just have to, again, stick to the wind protection, look for the darker muddy areas, look for those deeper cuts, deeper pockets where those fish can seek refuge from those colder water temperatures. Typically, the colder it gets, the deeper you want to go because that water from the surface to the top, it's going to start cooling down starting at the surface. And then as you get deeper, it's going to get a little bit warmer. So the deeper you can find uh, areas, the more likely you are to find a concentration of fish. So that will wrap up this video on pretty much just talking about water temperature and what you should be really paying attention to. Again, look for those changes in temperature. Uh, in the wintertime, you want to look for an increase in temperature, what, even if it's one or two degrees. And the same thing in the summertime, you want to look for that one or two degree difference. However, in the summertime, you want to look for a dropping temperature. So if you have any questions or comments or any additional tips you would like to share, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. 
Now if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more in-depth spot breakdowns showing exactly where and how to fish certain areas based on the time of year, tides, weather, and all other sorts of variables that come into play, definitely be sure to check out our Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee you'll start catching more inshore fish in less time. So until then, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.